Ellie and I have known each other since high school. He was my go-to person regarding anything plastic, and I knew he could pull this off, and when I was ready to come together with a concept, we co-designed these things together. Jeff had a, a loose drawing from the architect, but it was pretty much up to the two of us to, to cook up something. Well, the original design of the uh, building had a vague uh, rendering of a louver effect on the front of the building. We needed something that would allow the view capability at the, at the living space and also created some sort of a shade uh, to the overall house itself. When the contractor Jeff came in, he had some uh, very loose ideas of a fin or a form, some kind of wing that they were going to put together. Jeff and I went over to our color display rack, which has got all the different colors of lucite as well as other materials, and Jeff was real keen on the lucite offerings. We looked at colors, we looked at thicknesses. A lot of the strength had to come from the plastic itself. The plastic makes the frame extremely strong. Lucite was always the material of choice, you know, because the color options and the frosted finish. The lucite frost ended up being a really good fit. Number one, the color. Number two, the thickness that we needed. Um, number three, it came in a, in a size sheet, an 80 by 120 inch sheet. I was concerned about it lasting the test of time. I didn't want something to, to yellow. My biggest question was, will this last uh, in the sunlight? Looking at all the uh, offerings that lucite has, they did pick one that uh, architecturally and aesthetically, in the end, I don't think they could have made a better, uh, better choice. I had certain requirements that I felt that I needed, uh, something that could be formed, something that uh, would look somewhat like, like glass, like glazing. The Lucite Lux was a great fit for this project because of the formability of the product. It forms very well. Some of the angles in the panels, uh, I'm just not quite sure how that would be done um, using glass. When you take a sheet of acrylic, um, by itself, before you, before you do anything to it, it's not super rigid. But if you thermoform it into a three-dimensional shape, it, just like a piece of paper, it picks up rigidity. We had to have prefab forms of the aluminum profile to be able to match that exactly because once that, that installer was up in the air, he needed those to be exactly right on. It's basically thermoforming, which is heating up the plastic to 275 degrees. That's where acrylic starts to become formable. We had a lot of cycles coming out of the oven. We had about six guys at once pulling these panels out, draping them on the form. So in order to be able to get this off the form, we had to design one that uh, allowed us to get that finished part off uh, without doing any damage to it. But to get them off, you had to actually slide them off. Shortly after we finished, one of the largest winter storms in a long time to come through uh, came in and really tested the whole installation. And I was, uh, to say the least, extremely nervous. Uh, it was a test of tests uh, when, when it came through and I was here, of course, the next morning and they were perfectly intact. Oh, the most fun part was seeing the, it finally installed and the way it's all balanced on the outside, it's just absolutely perfect. I think the favorite part of this project was putting these fins on. It was the last thing we did. Uh, it's, it was the icing on the cake.